Good afternoon. You are welcome to National Museum Gida Makamakano and I'm Mr. Hussein Ibrahim by name. Gida Makama Museum, when you look at the building itself, the building itself is standing as a monument. This is the first Emir's Palace. This is where the Emir normally stays then. The palace here was built in the year 1440, over 581 years back. King Abdullah Ibrija was the king that built it. When he built the palace, he now made this place as a guest house. He has a grandson, Muhammad Rumfa. Muhammad Rumfa was once Makama in this palace. A Makama is a title among the four kingmakers. In 1463, Muhammad Rufa became the king of Kano. And he also maintained this building and he also stays here. In 1471, he decided why not build a new Emir's palace. That is where he built that palace over there. The new Emir's palace is called Gida Rufa. It was built by King Muhammad Rufa in the year 1471 to 1478. So after building the new Emir's palace, that is where he left here to the new Emir's palace. Then I left this place for coming Makama. That is why the house of coming Gida Makama. So you are welcome to National Museum Gida Makama, Keno. So we are welcome. We move to the British colonial masters. This is a cannon gun used by the British colonial masters. The first British Governor General Sir Lord Frederick Lugard. The first of all came to Kano in 1901. Then the Emir was Emir Aliu Abdullah Baba. They told him that I want to come out of the side in Kano, but Emir refused them because he knew who are the white men. Then went back to Lokoja and recruited the blacks in Lokoja and also used the black to fight the blacks. Then I came back to Kano in 3rd of February 1903. When they came back to Kano in 3rd of February 1903, they made the whole city was gate closed. In those days, no how you can enter Kano except through the gate. The gate in Kano are 15 gates. The gate in Kano are 15 gates. And let me list them for you. The Kofan Kansaka Li 1, the Kofan Kabuga 2, the Kofan Duka We are 3, the Open Pompo 4, Open Gadang I are 5, Open 9 is a 6, Open 9 going to 7, Sabre Open 8, Open Nasra 9, Open Mata 10, Open 1 Bay 11, Open Mazuga 12, wow. Open Road 13, Open Dorano 14, and Open Way Car 15. These are the 15 city walls gate. When the British came to Kano, they made the whole gate lock. The Emir Aliu Abdullah Baba give order to show the whole city wall gate. So, know how they can enter Kano? That is when they use the 75 meter long range Kano. They used the 75 meter long range canoe to bomb one of the gates in Kano. And the name of that gate is called Opal Kabaga. The British came through the Opal Kabaga in 3rd of February 1903. When they came to Kano, the Emir is not even in the Kano. He went to Sokoto. On the way coming back, that's when they captured him. They also deposed him and also take him to Lokoja for exile. When they take him to Lokoja for exile, they now appointed his younger brother, Muhammad Abbas Abdullahi. That's when Lord Luga came to stay in this house and he now made this place as a guest house. Yeah, welcome to National Museum Gida Makama. Thank you. So we move into the portrait gallery. This is the portrait gallery. These are some of the ancient parts. And you all know that a museum is a place where historical antifats are kept. You see them? They have already become an antifat. The portrait gallery, these two parts was excavated within the Kofan Kabaga in 1975. The pot here normally put beside of the gate. They use it for storing water, they also use it for storing of grains of food, and also use it for dyeing clothes. Okay. The two here was excavated alone in Kabaga in 1975. And look at the median here. The median here was the blacksmith factory. 
You know, those days, in people of Kano, their main occupant was blacksmiths. Uh, this is a blacksmith factory used by the Asian people of Kano. So we are welcome. This is two parts. It's better than the Queen of Kabaga in 1975. And come and see the other ones here too. They are used for storing water, storing grains, and also dyeing clothes inside. Yeah, this is look like the other one. Yeah. The bigger one there was 75 meter long range cannon, and this yeah. is a smaller long range cannon. The two cannon was used by the British. That's what they used to bomb one of the gates in cannon, and that is what they used to attack. And when you look at it, they don't use it to raise it. It has a wheel which you can change it into a different direction. When you load the trigger inside, there's a place here you normally light fire. When you light it, that's how it explodes. So this is the short range cannon, and look at the 75 meter long range cannon. So you are welcome to National Museum. So we moved into the museums, all right? Before we move into the museum, just look at the structure. The building here is the monument. Yes. Look at it. And it's the oldest building in Kano, over 500 years back. And look at the Asian paint. When we move inside, this is the Asian paint used then. But when we move inside, I'll tell you all about the material used. You see, these are the paints using. And this kind of paint, whenever the rain falls or you pour water in on top, it will change color to different color. Wow. It will not even wash away. So when we go inside, I will show you all about the material, the building material. So you are welcome to National Museum. Let's go inside, guys. This place is awesome. awesome. So you see how the place is called. Yes. So your museum to museum. So let's continue. We continue through the map of the canoe. The map of the canoe shows the map, the ancient map. The ancient map contains only three local governments. Dala, Gwale, and Kano Main City, Kano Municipal. You have only, only three local governments. And look at the city wall. This is the city wall that fills the whole Kano, which I've already listed there for you. Look at them, Kafeta Lee Kabuga, Duka, we are Pompo, Gadan, Ayana, Isatam, Agoni, Sabah, Opa, Opa, Nasa, Opa, Maka, Opa, Mbe, Opa, Mazuga, Opa, Rua, Opa, Dano, and Opa, Nweka. Wow. So know how you can enter Kano except through the gate. The gate, the gate normally opens 6 o'clock a.m. and they will shut it off 6 o'clock p.m. After shutting it up, nobody can enter Kano. And Kano has six historical places. The historical places are the Kano city walls and gate. One, the museum here will add two, two, the Emir's Palace, which was called Gidan Rongfa, three, the Kofa Mata Dye Pit, where they normally do a traditional dye pit, four, the Kromi Market, the oldest market in the West Africa, five, and wow. also the Dalai Hill, six. So these are the historical places yes. in Kano. Kumi market, the oldest market in the West oldest market in the Kano. Because of that market, that is why Kano was given center of commerce. That market is over 800 years. People wow. come from different countries to come and buy and sell in the market. Okay. So when we talk about the city walls, some of you know how yes. the Kano great city walls. Just look at the interior part of the city walls. The Kano city walls and gate. The foundation for the construction of the Kano city walls and gate was established by King Jigamasu, the son of Waziri, in 1095 to 1134 AD. Just look at the interior of the city walls. Yeah. When you are inside of Kano, know how you can sight outside except you come out through the gates. You see? And look at the inside of the city walls. People, the security people normally came to stay by the side and be spying whether are there any the people that normally, any enemies that normally come in. So this is the interior part of the city walls. Come to see the outside of the city walls. We want to talk about the outside of the city walls. This is one of the ancient gates. Go for Nasarawa. I believe he passed through the gate now. Right yes. now. The go for Nasarawa. Look at the open Nasarawa. The Asia, and this picture was taken in 1910. And this is the first gate in Kano, Upper Kansekali. The port I show you outside, look at them when they normally keep it. Yeah. Because when the visitor come, maybe they get, maybe they're tired, they get water to drink and do elevation and they do other things. So look at the visitor entering Kano. This is the city walls and gate we are caring about, the great city walls. So you are welcome to National Museum, Gidan Makama Kano. So we are going to the act of the building. We will move into the act of the building. You see some of the different kind of material, the building material. Mm. This kind of building has a secret. Whenever the temperature is hot, when you come, it will be cool. Whenever the temperature is cold, when you enter, it will be warming you up. Why? Because of the kind of building material used. Mm -hmm. Look at the conical bricks. You see the conical brick? Look the way they normally arrange the conical bricks. Do you see them? They yes. arrange them step by step, very thick. And what they use, the material used, this is local, this is local seal. They call it bagarua. They used to soak it on the water. When they soak the bagarua on the water, the water has a gum. They mix the water with the red clay and the local seed powder. 
That is what they use for the plastering the, the wall in form of cement. The mm. paint I show you, they use the local seed peel, oru the peel. Mm. They mix it with the the cleared mud, and that is what they use for the painting the wall. Wow. And that is why it gives you the main architectural work, and it gives normally temperature. Whenever the, I've told you, whenever the temperature is hot, it normally gives cool main temperature. Inside. Why? Because of the kind of building material used. They use the conical brick, the red clay, the local seed, the local CP, the gold skin, ash, and cleared mud. So these are the whole building material used to mix the kind of building together. So they are on top. <laughs>